How do we use alphas in ZBrush or ZBrush Core? First, we need our alphas to show up in a light box, let's say here on the brush. The light box simply displays a few folders from the ZBrush install directory. So what we find on the brush are the contents of the ZBrushes folder. I don't want to drop my files directly in there. So what I'll do is I'll create a link. This is the folder I want to access. Now if I hold Alt when I drop it, it creates a link for me. Back in ZBrush, I just need to navigate back into the brush folder to refresh it. And there we go. All the screws and bolts are here. To assign an alpha to the current brush, I need to select and then double click it. So just triple click it, that will always work. But the result of using an alpha with a standard brush is not quite what we want in this case. Let's tweak some brush settings. First, we switch the stroke to drag ragged. That allows us to drag out a stamp in any size. But focal shift fades it out at the edges, so we'll bring that all the way down to minus 100. Nice. Now we adjust the set intensity to our liking. I'll set it to about 50. Great. Let's try a few different alphas. Another good way of placing screws and bolts is setting the stroke to drag dot. Now we can place several bolts at the current brush size. Okay, now we have a good amount of bolts and screws on our model. As a final step, I'm gonna save my brush via the brush menu. I'll save it to C Startup Brush Presets. Putting it in this location will make sure that the brush gets automatically added to my list of brushes at startup. Here it is. Okay, I hope this gets you started with alphas in ZBrush.